Hey guys, welcome back to Camp's Mods. Um, okay, so I finished the mod for uh, the Viper Strike here. Um, all I did was take out the um, air restrictor and put it back together. Uh, there are two locks though that you do have to take out for it to function a little bit easier. Um, this lock right here is inside this part right here, uh, underneath like uh, a little plate that's held in by two screws. I'll put the picture up here. Um, there's two screws. You take those two out, pull off the cover. This one is sitting up inside right underneath the, um, the teeth that have to go along. Um, pull this out because um, when I put this back together, I was trying to prime it and it wouldn't budge for some reason. Um, also, I took this one out. This one will be in your blaster like, let's see, like this, I believe. And then inside of it is a screw, like so. And then underneath it, on the post underneath, is a spring. Um, and the bolt sled um, was actually getting caught behind this and it needs to be on this side. So I just took this out completely. It's not going to affect anything um, with it out, uh, but now Prime's fine. I tried to put a bigger spring into this because um, basically the internals are a retaliator. So if you really want to get this uh, up and going, uh, you can get a whole retaliator kit from uh, either out of darts or uh, worker mod or AK blaster mod or whoever uh, you buy those from. Um, I wasn't going to put the money into it because it's not worth it to me. Um, so I just took out the air restrictor, put the uh, stock spring back in, and it sounds a little bit louder. I haven't tested the FPS yet, but I've tested a few darts, and they work fine. Um, the darts they came with, you know, these are Nerf. Um, I'm going to use the Adventure Force darts for my testing. Um, I noticed that a few people had a problem when they first uh, got the blaster out of the package, like I did where you did have to put it, push in this reset button. And I've had to do that a few times even now, and I don't know why. Um, something to do with the blaster, I don't know. Um, but let's load this up with the three darts here. And we'll get the chronograph out. Oh, and after you take these out, um, you can toss them. I'm going to keep the springs though because you never know when you need a upgraded little cat spring. These look about the right size. I'm going to keep that screw as well. Toss that. Alright. I'm going to prime this back. Put that in like so. I should have, I wanted to test it. I should have tested it. Um, with the snake part off. I'm still trying to modify it to where I can slip this on and off easily, but there's like four tabs in here. It's ridiculous. Um, they really don't want you to take it off once it's on. Um, I may work with that, I may not. I mean, with it off, it does look kind of weird. Um, but you know, either way. But I can, I can guarantee you, this is gonna give a little bit of barrel drag. But I'm just gonna test it. All right, first dart in. What were we getting before, like 60s or something? Eighty-four point four. And see, I'm trying to pull it back, and it's not. It's because this button needs to go back in. Try one more. Sixty-one point six, but that kind of hit. And the last one, 38. that was weird, 38.8, I don't know what happened with that one. Um, but yeah, this barrel drag is horrible, um, but you know, it is what it is. Um, if somebody wants to invent a shorter snake um, mouth, because the... The part where this connects, it only comes out to, I believe, like here. Um, so if you want to put like 
something that fits there where you can cut this off and put it up here, it'd be a much better uh, useful blaster. But that's down the line. Uh, but yeah, I just want to show you guys where to find those two locks, where to take them out. Um, and basically all you need to do is uh, modify like a regular retaliator because that's the internals. I thought there would be something beefier in there, but there's not. Um, <laughs> I thought it'd be like a long strike or something. Um, but the way that it's set up inside, you don't have to get into it to modify it really. It's up to you. It's a lot of screws. Um, yeah, it's up to you guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, please like, follow, share, subscribe. And we are actually at 652 subscribers, I think, now. So that's awesome. We made 650 uh, on the road to 700. Um, but yeah. Um, oh, also, uh, if you haven't seen it yet, I put up um, two shorts today. Uh, one of this guy, the internals. And then... Um, um, I ordered my slab, so that'll come probably in two weeks. Um, I didn't order it fully assembled because I, I like assembling Springer Blasters myself. So, um, probably in two weeks you'll see that guy, uh, done and ready. I'll do an unboxing of the parts when I get a course and so on like before. Um, but yeah, I think that's it guys. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. All right, bye.